Hello and welcome back. Today we're going through more items that have been kindly sent into the PO box. For those that are interested, that is the address. Uh, but please don't feel obliged to send me uh, coins or gifts or things. I'm more than happy just receiving a letter from you guys. It absolutely does make my day. This is some of the most fun videos that I get to make. Uh, if you do want to write in though, feel free to enclose an envelope with your address and a stamp on it. And I'll be sure to reply to you uh, at some point soon. Um, equally, if you go to the length to write me a letter, feel free to plug your YouTube channel, your social medias, your... Uh, company whatever it is you want to plug I'm more than happy to give you a bit of a plug if you go to the lengths uh, to write me a kind letter so a massive thank you to those that have that uh, will and those in the past that have already sent things into the peer box um, a big thank you from me but without further ado let's get into the first one we're gonna start off with this green letter oh it's like a Christmas card <laughs> there are some delays in um items getting to me after they've been sent. It, I think it must filter through the system, filter to my peer box, and then it depends what day uh, I get, can get down to pick a thing up from there. It says, hello Christopher, enclosed to some one piece to help towards your world record attempt. I enjoy your videos. I started collecting 50 piece after watching them. Uh, best wishes, uh, Ginny Tyler. Wowee. Well, let me get the part. So for those that are new uh, to, the ch to my channel or those unaware, I am working on a world record attempt. I'm trying to get the most coins uh, in a collection from the same year and I'm focusing on the year 2000. Uh, I'm, I'm hunting through £40 worth of pennies every single week and then update you guys monthly on the progress just because they're a massively minted um, denomination and it's a, it's a very low cost way of doing this because I've got it 51 and a half thousand um, and that works out to be what uh, 510 pounds worth of pennies rather than if you dig in any higher denomination that cost would spiral um, quite exponentially so a big thank you those that do write in and, and have kindly contributed pennies towards my world record attempt I pop your name on my appreciation board which you'll see at the end of every uh, world record update video but uh, we're going um, very very well at that and I'm very very pleased with the progress that I and with the assistance of you guys have made but um, what I do with these ones when they come into the PO box is pop them into a little pot we're gonna use Darth Vader this month um, so let's get that done Well, there we go. A massive thank you to Ginny um, for the pennies and also for the really, really cute little card. Maybe it wasn't a Christmas card, but uh, very cute indeed. Next up, we've got this one. It says, uh, Dear Christopher, my name is Arvo. I'm seven. Fragile. What have we got here? Uh, we've got an old predecimal looking ooh, penny. Wow, we. 1904. Very cool, thank you very much for that. And it looks like a Swedish. Five kroner. Uh, these three crowns, very cool stuff. So the coins that make it into the uh, PO box, I pop aside and then on the su on Sundays I look through world coins and I've been working my way through the backlog of amazing coins that you guys have been sending me um, and popping your names up again as a thank you for sending them in. And it looks like a cool little is it a stamp or like a, a card. Oh, it's a little card. Well, there is a stamp underneath it, eh? So yeah, I collect stamps as well. Oh, wow. Is that penny red? No way. Is, is it a copy of one? Wow. I do have a um, a, um, a, a Bermudan Penny Red. That's my most valuable stamp I've got in my collection. I've never bought stamps specifically for values, um, but um, it was in, I think, a lot that I inherited uh, from a, a relative that used to collect stamps. And unfortunately, um, if it had been postally used, it would have been worth over £300, but it had been used fiscally, so someone had used it to pay their taxes, so it was only worth about £30. Not bad for a, a little square of paper, though. What's this, then? Prehistoric animals. It is a Smilodon. <laughs> Very cool. What's this from then? Cards inserted with all Brook Bond tea and tea bags. <laughs> well, that's kind of neat. Thank you for that. And we've got a little, <laughs> little book. The Pet and Livestock Series. Your dog, Robert Layton. Very cute. Oh, it's a card. 
<laughs> okay. <laughs> the look of the book. What? The look of the book cover to the cover cards. Okay, I get it. <laughs> it's a cute little dog on it, isn't it? <laughs> but thank you very much for the, uh, the stamp, the little card, and those two really cool coins. Next up, we've got this box. Ow. <laughs> we got something Star Wars, was he? <gasps> oh, wow. How cool is that? <laughs> Amazing. Oh, <laughs> I know what this is. <laughs> oh dear, there's no note. There is, unless I've um, lost the note. <laughs> I can't seem to find a note. Apologies if there was a note somewhere in there. Um, but this has come from Sam. <laughs> <laughs> one evening so for those that aren't about, i've got a discord server if you are over the age of 13 you can click the link down in the description and come and join discord um and there's a whole bunch of regulars uh that i can re refer kindly to as the usual suspects um and they um yes yeah, so they keep me entertained and we chit chat uh every, a couple of evenings a week um and one night i demanded he made me a coffee while she was making coffee and i had been grilling him for weeks and weeks and weeks about where's my coffee where's my coffee where's my coffee looks like here's my coffee so um <laughs> amazing what have we got then what have we got machu picchu peru full bodied with dark chocolate overtones filter cafetiere well, there we go. Wow, wait. Well, I, I can't complain about. <laughs> Where's my coffee? And uh, uh, Luke Skywalker. Um, it's from the the uh, the Last Jedi, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Force link activated. Hmm. Looks like you got some. You can get some sort of attachment. Hmm. Very cool. We're gonna get out of the packaging, though. We're gonna get them out of the packaging. I have no, 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 no issues. Because at least this way, I can stick him up on my shelf. How cool is that? Has he got arms? Well, he has got arms. There we go. Oh, well, <laughs> thank you for that. We've also got what looks to be a whole heap of coins. Wowee! Well, I'm gonna have a we're gonna have a brief scan through. We're not gonna labour too much on this because, as I said, as usual, they will feature in a um, world coin video. Let's see. So we've got a few French coins. Oh, look! We've got some Israeli coins, a scallops coin. That's that'll be from Hong Kong. It looks like it. Um, we've got some old Netherlands coins, Portuguese coins. I like these ones because they remind me there's a Portuguese stamp set. I think it's Portuguese. Uh, of these sort of boats and they're all beautiful colors and I really like that stamp set there's a couple of half pennies um, the tree guardian this uh, Italian gentleman um, oh look at this these are very cool Icelandic coins I like animals on coins so they are a quick win in terms of coins that I like um, I see Thailand one part. I can't tell you the year offhand. Japanese one yen. I like that. These are one of some of my favourites as well. This one here from Belgium. It's 20 francs. It's just such cool metal. It's a cool design. So I like that a lot. Wowee. Well, we've got a whole bunch of awesome coins that we can have a hunt through. I don't know I say we get a lot of French coins. This is one of my favourite French coins. This 10 francs. It's just this very sort of modern looking industrial scene, which I think is really, really neat. Oh, look. Hungarian. Very nice condition, isn't it? Five forints. Wowzer. Well. Ooh. South African. Unbelievable stuff. There's a whole bunch of really old looking pennies there from the early 1900s. Greek, Netherlands, Belgium. Great stuff, obviously Spain as well. Juan Carlos with this Una Peseta. Always interesting on these Spanish coins, you've got these little stars, so on the obverse, it shows this year, 
which is when this set was for this this design was first minted in these styles will actually show the year that this particular coin was minted so a bit of interesting fact on what spanish coins if you want more information about world coins be sure to tune in on sundays for my world coin hunts um, they're great fun uh, but a massive thank you for all those i am blown away by your generosity and your kindness um, <laughs> um and i've got my coffee <laughs> Well then, the last item to the peer box is not something that's been uh, sent to me. This is something that I've purchased um, and I'm really, really excited to have a look at it. It's going to be a little bit of promotion for one of my very good friends, fellow coin tubers. Um, and this, if you know, you know, um, I'm very, very excited to get into this. So let's very, very carefully. Um, he did say to me I didn't have to fe feature this in a video, but I said um, it is definitely, definitely going into one of my videos. Uh, so this is from, this is um, an item I purchased from Master Temple. Now Master Temple, you will see behind me the paintings up, up, up there, there, and there, potentially there if it's not cut out. Um, he he is a fantastic and lovely person and an incredibly talented artist as well. Um, that. Um, now posts videos of his artwork so if you haven't checked out Master Temple's treasures on his YouTube channel you have to go and do that immediately um, he has recently opened an Etsy store Master Temple Arts uh, where he is selling some of his paintings and this is the, that is dangerous territory for me get to going to because uh, everything I see I want I saw this and fell in love with it and had to have it so I'm adding to my I'm, bec I'm becoming the world leading collector of Master Temple's artwork so shall we take the packaging off and have a no way <laughs> <laughs> what have we got I think in addition to that we've got some coins from the year 2000 it's a couple of two pence pieces and a penny is also most simple it's going to go on the board not for the first time either but a massive thank you for those two um, let's get into this struggling a little bit here. I can't quite get, figure out how to get it out. We're getting there. We're getting there. <laughs> We got there. So before I have a look at this, because I know what it's going to look like, uh, I just want to share a couple of other things. Now, I, it's, it feels really bizarre to have to say this, but I am not sponsored or financially incentivized to promote uh, Master Temple. Master Temple is a, a long-term friend and a long-term subscriber and supporter of my channel in before my first 500 subscribers. And the gentleman I've got to know, get to know uh, particularly well over on my Discord server that I've met at the Mint uh, before um, is an absolutely amazing person. Um, like I said, I am promoting him as a friend and I got no special offer on this. I bought it from his Etsy shop, the same as you could go and buy it from his Etsy shop. No discounts, no nothing. Um, I just fell in love with it and had to have it. But some of the things that um, I've had from Dan over in the, in the past is this awesome Christopher Collect 2020 Kew Gardens plaque, which sits normally on my shelf behind me. You'll be able to see that in the background of my videos. Uh, from the last time we saw him at the Royal Mint, a milled, uh, a, a Master Temple milled mint tour token and then the holy grail of coin tubing because master temple is the gatekeeper to coin tubing you haven't made it until you've got yourself a master temple's treasures um coin tube medallion and i was very very um lucky and uh um blown away by his artistry when he sent this to me so yes um there we go but anyway enough for waiting i want to see the painting too so let's turn it over and have a look oh we got it the wrong way around <gasps> How cool is that? Wowee, let's just, we're gonna have to come up a little bit here. But see, isn't that just superb? It is absolutely beautiful. Um, I, like I said, I, I saw it one evening, someone sent me a link to his Etsy store that he just opened. And I saw this and I thought, that is really, really nice. I really like that. But I thought, we're an impulse purchase. I have a think about it. And the next morning I thought, I want it. What if someone else purchases it? I will be absolutely gutted, but no. 
absolutely thrilled to bits of that. Couldn't be happier. It is absolutely wonderful. And honestly, the 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 image you're seeing on camera does not do this justice. It is absolutely lovely, and I'm blown away by it. But no, a massive thank you to Dan for, for being a great friend, um, a great supporter of my channel, and um, overall the one of the loveliest human beings that I've ever have uh, blah, 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 that I've ever had the pleasure to get to know. And like I said, if you haven't checked out Dan's channel, um, you have to do it. You have to do it. If you if you like the if you like the coins, he does coin he does coin hunting. He is a he is the till raider. Um, if you like the artwork, he does these amazing pieces of artwork, and uh, I would highly recommend a video he did recently. Uh, repaint the board, doing his own interpretation of um, the Starry Night, of Van the Van Gogh painting. Um, it's an, an incredible, incredible piece, piece of work. Um, and like as I said, go over and check him out. Um, but no, a massive thank you to Dan. So a massive thank you to everyone that has written into the PO box. Um, for those that have watched this video this far, you may be interested to know, as I've said before, I've got a Discord server. You can click the link down in the description to come and join that. Alternatively, uh, you can catch me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and now on TikTok. Uh, so be sure to come and check out TikTok. I'm loving TikTok. Be able to squash the videos down from the 15, 20 minutes uh, episodes they normally are down to a 60 second video is, is pretty fun and quite satisfying to see the end results but um yeah so be sure to head on over there too um i think i've done everything oh there's the peer box you can write into as well if you so wish blah, blah 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 anyway massive thank you for watching i hope you've enjoyed and i'll see you next time for more coins bye